the word artist as an occupation, I was like, that's what I want to do. That's the only thing that I've ever wanted to do. It's so good when you walk into people and you ask them about you know what they do and they love it and they're passionate. It's usually only artists, people that create. <laughs> artists. You ask people what they do. Performance musician, something, yeah. yeah you'd be like, I'm a doctor, like. Mm. <laughs> like, I thought you liked saving lives. I'm like, your job is way more cooler. Like, yeah, but you have to love what you do. So, Shadia, we, we were having a conversation before we started. Let me introduce who she is. This is Shadia. She's an artist. My name's LM Kaz. We're here at the Tangent Gallery tonight for the Venus Uprising exhibition, and it's all women tonight. Um, shout out to Girl Power. Okay, we have Shadia here. Can you tell us about your piece and exactly what type of abstract you do here? Or? Um, this is a piece that is created with collage. So embedded into the surface of the canvas are multiple pieces of different types of paper. Um, some of them are scrap papers, everything from sewing patterns to pieces of scrap paper that I've uh, hand painted, stamped you know, stenciled on different patterns. And then those scraps of paper are torn up and hand collaged onto the surface to create the painterly effect that you see. So there's a layer of underpainting, then there's paper, and then there's additional painting on top of it. I can see it, I can see the depth. Like when I seen it um, yesterday when they were setting up, cause I came and hung out with Mabel and was holding the twins and stuff. And that captured me, and I was just staring at it. I'm like, it's so mystical. It's so like fairy tale like. And then I can tell the mixed media you had in there. I can tell you had paint on top of paint, then on top of your mixed media paper, and then more paint. You can't just do this with one layer, okay, guys? You have to understand this right here, this right here, this, this is talent. This is something that you just can't make overnight. And if you can, you're extraordinary. You're already a Picasso. But if not, Shot, you know, Shadia, you know how it is when you create art, you enjoy it and then sometimes it go like that and the next minute it takes a while yeah. when it feels like it's a task. So, for the people, um, if an artist wanted to be as great as you and wanted to create beautiful art like this, what would you tell them to inspire them to keep going? Um, well, thank you for the compliment. That's really sweet of you to say. Um, the, the thing that I would express to anybody that um, aspires to become an artist is to continue to speak your truth, always work on your craft and spend and dedicate the time of your life that you can to this because even if it isn't for an economic endeavor, even if it never gets shown to somebody else, even if it only ever sits in your basement or in your studio, the act of creating it itself will empower you and make you a better person by doing it. So believe in yourself and give yourself the time to express what's inside of you because that ultimately is what's most important. You know what, Shadi, I have to say, I have never heard anyone explain it so literally to the young people like that ever. And and it was very warm and it's very open, it's very organic. So I hope you guys really understand what she was trying to say. It has to come from within. Believe in what you're doing, make it your life's work. Make it something where it doesn't feel like an obligation or you know something you're doing for someone else. You do it because you're expressing yourself. Like I said when I was talking to MJ, you know, it, it, you have to come from within. It has to be something that you're expressing from within, and now you're making it visually for others to see. And then you can share it with each other and meet beautiful people like Shadia. So, you know, don't stick it in your basement for too long. But if you do, be sure of yourself and be happy with what you've created and you keep going. Because every time you do it, it gets better the next time. We promise, right? Absolutely, 100%. All right. So if someone wanted to see your art, if someone wanted to purchase your art, how could they find you? The best place to reach me is on my website at artofshadia.com. Um, I also show at a number of local galleries, so you can visit any of those gallery links on my website. All right, well, thank you so much. Peace and blessings to you, sister. I appreciate it. Yes. And we'll be right back, guys. I'm meeting beautiful people here. The more you open up with yourself, you'll be ready to be who you want to be while expressing yourself. So, see you guys in a minute. It's beautiful here.